YouTube, what is good? It is January 7th, 2019, and for a while now, I've been using this camera bag right here. When I first got it, I mentioned how I wanted to make a review on it, but honestly, a camera bag review is kind of a weird video to make because it's really short and it's pretty simple. This is the best bag I've ever used, but instead of making a review, I'm gonna talk about some things that I like and show you everything inside of it for 2019. This is my official what's in my camera bag 2019 video. Now, if you remember, this was the previous bag that I was using. This is a low pro, I can't remember the name anymore, but it's cool, it's orange, and I thought for a long time this was the best bag ever, but now this right here, the Low Pro Pro Tactic BP 350AW2, that is quite the name, is definitely the best camera bag I've ever used. So I'll mention a few reasons why, as well as show you everything that is inside. But before we do that, I gotta thank the sponsor on today's video, NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash evanramped and use code evanramped to get 75% off a three year plan and an extra month for free protect yourself online today. Now NordVPN is something new that I just started using. Y'all know in the vlogs, we always end up at coffee shops and I know a lot of you are creatives, aspiring creatives. We spend a lot of time on public Wi-Fi networks. Now me, I'm super paranoid about security and I thought, yo, I'm just not gonna log into anything important on these public Wi-Fi networks. But what I recently learned was that it's way easier for people to get your information than you think. Anything you send over one of these public Wi-Fi networks can be grabbed by hackers they can scrub all types of information from basically everything you do on these networks, which I didn't know. I thought, yo, I'm good as long as I don't log into my bank, and that is not the case. And that for me is why NordVPN is so important. Internet security is something you cannot take lightly because you just really never know who's out there trying to get your information. NordVPN uses military grade encryption and they're compatible with most operating systems, including Windows and Mac and iOS and Android. So you can use NordVPN to keep your computer secure and your mobile device secure as well. So don't be like me and think you have internet security all figured out when in reality, you don't know anything. Head over to nordvpn.com slash evanramped and use code evanramped to get 75% off a three year plan and an extra month for free. Start protecting yourself online today. So now that we got that out of the way, thank you guys for the patience. Let's talk about everything inside of this camera bag. First thing on this bag that is incredible, it's one of my favorite features is how I don't know what you would even call this, but basically this bag comes with this pouch right here. And this pouch has a bunch of accessories on here that you can connect to the bag. So this one's like a water bottle holder. This one's like some type of tripod holder. And then this is these two buckles that you can strap stuff onto the bag. And what's great about these is they come off if you want them to. So you can get a very nice streamlined look to your bag, but you can also add these accessories if you want, if you need them. So that right there is one of my favorite features because you can really determine how the bag looks. If you don't want to have anything hanging off of it, you don't have to, but if you want to add those on for yourself, you can and you can control how they're set based on these straps right here. Fantastic design by Low Pro. You can access this top pocket or section of the bag very easily by just unzipping this here. And inside that we have my Fuji X100F. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. And you can also access this side pocket right here, which I have another camera in there. But it's great when you're out shooting because you don't always want to have to unzip the back of the bag to get whatever you're going for. It's nice to have that option to say, okay, I just want my camera, bang, let's unzip this. Or if you have your camera in this pocket, you can throw a lens up here and you have the two main things that you need really at your fingertips. And then if you have to dig into the bag, you can by taking it off. But I like the fact that you can access quite a bit on this bag without actually having to take it off. So the first thing we'll open up is this laptop sleeve right here. I think at this point, if you're a camera company and you're making camera bags and you don't have a sleeve for a laptop, it's like, dude, what are you doing? You know, most people want that. So for me, a lot of times I keep my laptop in here, like on days where we go to Epitome or something like that. But on days where I just go out to shoot for fun, I usually don't have my laptop in the bag. I just wait until I get home to start editing, but it's nice to have that option available whenever I need it. And then we have these pockets right here, which you can store all your computer accessories, you know, things like card readers. Uh, I got a GoPro charging cable right there. Down in here, we have some GoPro accessories. We got my helmet cam thing that I use for when we do GoPro mode. We got 
this Field Notes book. Y'all know how much I love notebooks, so you always gotta have one of these with you just in case you gotta write down an idea or plan something out. And we have an extra tripod mount thing right here, but you don't always need this unless I'm using one of my bigger tripods. The GoPro stuff, I have quite a bit of accessories. So everything you saw in the bag right here, it can always vary what goes in these pockets. If I don't have my computer with me, the computer accessories might not be in there. Instead, I might have some more filters. I might have a different notebook or something like that. Or I might have some of these GoPro accessories depending on how much GoPro stuff I'm doing. Everything in this bag is kind of subject to change depending on the situation, but this setup right here is pretty much my general setup that most of the time I have and I use. Right here, the main camera that would be in this bag will either be my Nikon D810, which I'm filming with right now, or my Fuji X-H1. One thing about this bag, it's not deep enough to have the battery grip on the camera, so I keep that in its own little separate compartment right here. Typically, if I have one camera body in here with a lens on that camera, I try to only bring one extra lens, especially if I have the X100F with me, which I'm pretty much gonna keep in my bag the entire year. That's one of the main reasons I got it. It's so small, it can be a staple of this camera bag, essentially at all times. So right now I have the Fuji 16 millimeter F 1.4, which I use a lot for vlogging. Anytime I vlog with the X-H1, I typically put this on for all the like front facing shots. It's just really nice for vlogging because of the low aperture. You can set it to like F 1.8 and the background is super blurry and it looks really nice in the videos. So if I'm using my Fuji, those are the two things that I have in there. If I am using my Nikon, say we're out filming a vlog, I'll probably have the Nikon D810 in here with the 14 to 24 and then one other lens depending on what I'm shooting. Maybe a 35 millimeter 1.4, maybe I'll have my 50 in here or maybe an 85. It just depends on the shoot. I don't like bringing a ton of lenses out to shoot with me. I think it just gets your brain like confused and it starts becoming more of a hindrance than something that's gonna make you more creative. The less options you have, the better for me. I found that works better over the years. So I like to try to keep it to about two lenses if I can, maybe three at the most. I have a charger right here. Once again, depending on what camera I'm using, I keep the charger here. Next up, we have the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now this is the newest addition to the camera bag. And man, it is a game changer. I grind it out with this GoPro for the longest. This is the Hero 5 Session. Now I do love how small this thing is, but the image quality on the new GoPros has gotten so much better. And I ran its course on this thing. I used this so much, I used it a lot. It's completely cracked in the front. It was cracked for like a year, and I felt it was time to upgrade. So anytime you see a behind the scenes going forward or any like hyperlapse clips or anything like that, it is most likely going to be shot on this. The stabilization is insane, and the capabilities of it are pretty awesome. I did a few hyperlapses in the last vlog with it, and that's one feature I'm really excited to use more. This thing is fantastic. And honestly, if you're trying to get into vlogging, I think I would recommend this as your first vlogging camera. The stabilization on it and the customizability of the menus and everything, you can do a lot with a GoPro now. They knocked it out of the park with this one. I think it kind of saved GoPro, honestly. It was a little, still is a little dicey for them as a company, but I think this is gonna keep their head above water for a little while longer because everyone's raving about it for good reason. So GoPro 7 Black is in the bag. We have my filters right here, which we talked about in a recent video, the GOB filters. These I like to keep in here, and then I might throw another filter or two in this nice little case, depending on what it is that I need. I really like this case right here. It just makes it so easy and convenient to keep track of everything. Uh, we have a laptop charger right here if I need it. Obviously, if I have the laptop with me, the charger has to go somewhere fits nicely in this little slot I made for myself. And the last thing we have in the bag is the X100F, which we made a video about recently. This is, like I said, gonna be one of my go-to pieces of equipment this year. I'm gonna keep it in my bag at all times. I see this as kind of a behind the scenes camera or a camera that I can use as a primary shooter. So that's basically a summary of everything going into this bag this year. One other great feature of the bag is how easy it is to customize it. It comes with so many spacers and dividers. You can really set everything up exactly how you need it to work in the best configuration possible. And if you wanna take something out, you're like, all right, I don't need this today. You can just 
go ahead and rip one of these out. The entire thing is Velcro. So let's say I don't need my computer charger. Bang, get rid of it. We can get rid of this, throw it with the other ones and put it back in whenever we need it. So that's another great thing about this bag that I really like that this bag over here did not have. And I was able to deal with it for a long time, but I think if you get into something like vlogging or any type of video and photo production, you need a bag that holds a lot more stuff. And that's why I'm loving this one so much. So that's it. You know, this year I don't really plan on doing much with camera gear purchasing. Last year I spent a lot of time trying to figure out different equipment and I'm pretty much set on this setup right here. You know, I, I don't see it changing too much in 2019. Maybe a few other components might be added, but for the most part, this is gonna be, this is gonna be it. You know, this is what I'm gonna be using. This is what you'll see in the videos. And uh, obviously y'all will know if something changes, but I can't see that happening. I'm really satisfied with the setup I have right now, switching between the Fuji and the Nikon, having the X100F as kind of the backup secondary or primary camera. So I feel really good about this. That is the camera bag for 2019. Once again, if you want to know what this bag is, it's the Low Pro Pro Tactical BP350AW. Two, the AW2, that's important to know. There's a version one that is different from this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. That is it for me. One great thing about me making this video is the fact that my bag is now already packed for the morning and I might not be running as late as I normally am. So if you enjoyed the video, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button for more. Go ahead and drop a comment. Maybe let me know the staples of your camera bag in 2019. If you plan on adding anything, if you're taking anything out, I don't know. I'm just always interested to hear y'all's thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the truth, and I will see y'all next time.